What is going on everybody, Yvonne here, and today we're going to do a complete overview over Apollo.io, which is a really powerful sales platform. It has different features built into it, but it's mainly known for its sales features and different data sets. So simply put, any information that you're actually trying to get onto a prospect, you can get it all within Apollo.io, but at the same time, we have all the different tools and features to actually keep track of your guys' sales team progress to make sure that we're actually doing exactly what's benefiting our business. So today, we're going to cover different features that Apollo.io has, as well as pricing, and see exactly if it's going to be a good option for your guys' business. So let's get right into it. Now, let's first talk about what people use Apollo for. Now, as for myself, I've used the platform a ton because I work as an account executive for one of the top technology companies in the United States. It's really useful when it comes to prospecting and having all that information in one place. To help us better understand the platform, let's go ahead and dive into the pricing plans and pretty much put all the features side by side and see exactly what the platform offers. So as you guys see if you are an individual or a small company these are going to be the good plans to actually get started with and they range from a free to our organizational plan now the big differences here of what you got to look out for is going to be the amount of credits that you're getting for either email or mobile so as you guys see the amount of mobile credits tremendously increases as we actually go up the plan right so with a free plan we're getting 60 mobile credits a year but all the way through organization it goes all the way up to 2400 which is going to be a ton now it all kind of depends on what what your needs are and how often you guys are prospecting, right? Because you probably don't need 2,400 mobile numbers if you're not prospecting that much. I'd say for most of you guys that are watching this video, if you're just starting off, right, and you're looking to make some dials, send some cold emails, the basic and the professional plans are going to make the most amount of sense because you don't have to be scared of running out of credits. But outside of credits, there's a ton of other features such as sequences or actually keeping your contacts in the platform. The other thing that people pay a premium for is being able to export a large amount of contacts at a time and that does come with one of the premium plans as well and again the male gist of things if you're looking to scale your guys' sales efforts it's going to be a no-brainer to go with one of these plans because all the different features like task queues sequences call volumes are all included as well so you can all measure it in one place now let's go ahead and see apollo.io in action so back in the day i used to actually have my own dental company and what i used to do in it is go ahead and try to set up meetings with different dental leaders i had my own dental device so my goal was to to make sure that people at the top, so the people that were actually in charge of distribution were actually able to notice it. Now, again, you could do the old fashioned traditional way of actually submitting a form online and yada, yada. But again, there's so many people that are doing that. So I had to think of a third door approach to actually get my product into their hands. So again, this is actually one of the guys that I reached out to my homie Brandon here, and he works as the vice president of procurement at Heartland Dental, which is a huge organization. Now this is on LinkedIn and Apollo.io has a mini tab right over here associated with it. And once we actually click on his profile, it gives us his email. So both his work and his personal. It also gives us HQ number, but honestly, that's not too useful. But the power of Apollo comes honestly with this mobile tab right over here, which is why the numbers are kind of limited because it provides us with this personal and work phone number. And look, let me tell you, if this person is a C-suite or a VP level and they don't have a gatekeeper or an assistant, this is going to make your life so much easier as you can go ahead, give them a ring and tell them exactly why you're calling and how you can help their business. And look, all this information integrates with Salesforce, Outreach, HubSpot, etc. So you can make sure to keep it all in one place if you are utilizing one of those CRMs. But Apollo actually has a really good way of keeping all the records in its own system as well. So if you're not using a CRM, you might not as need it. So again, this is the main dashboard whenever you guys actually log into the platform. And from here, you guys can see all your guys' meetings, emails, and pretty much all the stats when it comes to your guys' calls. So if you're a sales manager, right, or you have your own team of sales folks, I'll go ahead and use this dashboard because you can see exactly how many calls are being made. Because again, you guys can go ahead and track your guys' numbers all into Apollo, making it super easy to, again, keep track of performance and things like that. And there are a ton of different ways to put a lot of touches on different prospects, such as a sequence option right over here. Let me show you how it works. Let's go ahead and press create sequence. I will comply. And just for an example sake, let's just go ahead and use one of the templates. And boom, check it out. Let's say we're actually tailoring it to a specific role. So on the very first day, it's going to have us send a manual email. Now it's going to pre-populate its first name, basic stuff like that, but all the personalization tokens 
so we can go ahead and edit it. So that way, the actual person we're reaching out to has a good, better chance of responding. And from that point on, it's going to kind of space it out for us and assign us different tasks. So that way we stay nice and organized when it comes to our outreaches, calls, LinkedIn requests, etc. So look in this example, it's going to give us a task to make a call, then send a connection request, then it's going to go ahead and send an automatic email, phone call, LinkedIn, you guys get the point. Again, the main benefit of this is to number one, keep you guys organized, but at the same time, buy you guys more time because a lot of these follow ups and automatic emails, it just takes so long to do. So making it easier, giving you guys time back to actually sell makes your job a lot easier. And the email tool is pretty neat because it does directly connect to your guys' email mailbox. And from that point on, you can actually see how many times a prospect open up your email, which is really nice. But at the same time, you can go ahead and customize your guys' emails because let me tell you, if you're just sending out automatic junk, no one's opening it. You need some personalization, which is why adding those personalization tokens is going to be key for you guys' outreach. But the place where Apollo really shines is going to be its ability to actually connect your guys' phone number and be able to make dials within it. That way, what I would personally do is I'll go ahead and explore all the prospects that you guys are actually targeting, right? And from that point on, whoever has a number available, just, just go ham, give them as many rings as possible. And that way you can set up meetings and generate more pipeline. But again, all these features are cute and all, right? And it's a really good way to actually manage you guys a sales team but let me show the bread and butter of the platform now apollo became known for for its amazing data now apollo's biggest claim to fame became a huge data set that has within it when it comes to the prospects and their emails and contact information and this way we can actually go ahead and tell apollo exactly what type of individual we're trying to reach out to and it's going to give us a list of folks that we should actually call and email to so right off the bat we can see that there's 287 7 million people on the platform whose data we actually have. But let's go ahead and customize it by a job title. So over here, let's go ahead and make it an owner, right? If we're reaching out to owners. Now, as we see right off the bat, there's going to be 2.5 million people left. This is going to be important because we want to make sure that we're actually reaching out to the decision maker or someone that has a buy-in within the platform. Because if we're reaching out to someone at the very bottom of the totem pole, a lot of times they just don't know what to do. From there on, again, we can customize it by location. So for example, let's put Los Angeles where I'm from. As you can see, that number quickly dwindled down to right below 44,000. Let's also make sure that the revenue numbers are also pretty good because we don't want to be reaching out to owners that just don't have a budget. Let's go ahead and make a million or more as a revenue and that they receive serious aid funding because then for sure they got dollars to spend. So alrighty, awesome. Now that actually leaves us with just 40 people we can reach out to. And again, there are different ways we can customize it depending on what niche we're selling to. But again, I'll let you guys be creative with it. And the cool part about this is from here, we can actually export all these people's information, right? We can put them in a sequence, call queue, stuff like that to make sure we're actually getting touches on these people to develop our pipeline further. And again, from here, what's really cool is we can throw all these guys into a sequence, a call queue, stuff like that to make sure that we're actually developing our pipeline. Because look, the more pipeline they have, the more revenue comes through the door, the happier you're going to be. Trust me. And again, all these people's information like title, company, email address, phone number, location, number of employees at their company, industry, that's all going to be in there. But again, you guys can customize it to a very large extent as well. And as you guys are reaching out to folks, being able to track all your guys' conversations, deals, meetings in one place becomes really useful. However, my honest opinion is I'll go ahead and integrate this with a HubSpot or Salesforce because those are going to be a lot more powerful CRM solutions. But just for the sales sake, it's going to be really nice to have all your guys' sales efforts in Apollo as well, because you can go ahead and pretty much keep tabs of all your guys' tasks, plays, and analytics, and seeing exactly what works and what doesn't when it comes to a certain rep's performance. So right over here, let's go ahead and click on the analytics tab, and we can see exactly what the call engagement was, sales development activity, right? And like when it comes to phone calls versus emails, what's getting meetings, pipeline, and what is not. And from here, we can kind of generate different reports, dashboards, goals, and kind of compare them against one another. Because if we do have a remote sales team, we want to make sure that we're hitting our numbers. We want to make sure that for those different types of niches that we're targeting, we're doubling down on what works and what doesn't. So we actually distribute our resources evenly and in a smart manner. And the other neat part about Apollo is within its data enrichment setter, we can actually see kind of the quality of your guys' data and be able to filter by exactly what we're looking for, right? Ranging from if you start a new job to, again, you're missing an email, whatever you guys want to filter by. That way, 
way, you guys' outreach can be very strategic in terms of the account you guys are actually reaching out for because again, pipeline is going to be the name of the game. And there you guys have it. That was an overview over Apollo's platform. Whether you guys are trying to get your first five clients or you have a massive sales team, Apollo is going to be a good fit for you. Doesn't matter what stage you're at because it's a really scalable platform. And when it comes to lead gen and having information about our prospects, it's going to be a really hard competitor to be just because how good and accurate the platform is. As someone that works in sales and utilize these platforms on a daily basis, Apollo is a really strong competitor. And it was actually one of the reasons I was actually able to get a job at the place I currently work at. But at the same time, it helps me prospect every single day. And if you want to try out the platform for yourself, there's going to be a link down in the description where you can go ahead and get started on the platform completely for free. Go ahead and play around with the platform. And I guarantee you from a lead generation point of view, you guys are not going to regret it. I hope that you guys been able to enjoy this video. And if you did and got some value out of it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time. Peace.